Hey guys, so today I have my top 5 favorite best lip balms ever video because if you guys weren't aware, I did do one of these videos about a year and a half ago and I wasn't expecting to get the views that I got on that video because I got more than a thousand videos on that video more than a thousand views on that video which is mind blowing to me because my average um, I guess views on a video is about a hundred or a little bit less so to multiply that number by 10 is just amazing to me if you're wondering what that video is all about um, it was obviously about lip balm but if you haven't seen it yet um, I made it a long time ago more than a year ago so I'll have it linked right here and also down there if you would like to see that it's kind of interesting I was wearing this really like awkward looking scarf I don't know why I was wearing it but I was wearing it I thought it looked good at the time which is you know, you always look back and regret things you wear. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will not be telling you about two lip balms, but five. And let me know in the comments below if there's any other lip balms that you love and you'd love me to try. And if there's any lip balms that you have and that I showed you today or whatever. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, I hope you guys are enjoying the better quality camera. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to get started with... The um, Eucerin Aquaphor Healing Ointment Advanced Therapy, which sounds really weird, but this is pretty much a lip balm. Um, I remember in that last video that I was just talking about, I was obsessing over Carmex and how amazingly therapeutic and like menthol it felt like on your lips. Like it felt like it really, really helped dry lips. But seriously, this is just 20 million times better. This is what it looks like. I'll show you guys. I hope it's focusing, I'm not really sure about this camera quite yet, but um, it's pretty much exactly what it says, it's therapeutic. If you have really cracked, nasty dry lips, maybe you just got back from playing in the snow or going ice skating or all that fun stuff, um, or maybe if you just have really dry lips, and I would recommend putting this on before nighttime, right before you go to sleep. This is just an amazing lip balm to use, and it will definitely get rid of any sort of, um, I don't know, why am I wiping my eye right now? I feel like there's something in it. Um, this will get rid of any sort of dryness whatsoever. I hands down recommend this if you're looking for something that will really help out your dry lips. Now on the contraire contraire, is that the word, um, of that lip balm, I recommend Baby Lips if you're just looking for something super refreshing and it smells really good and it does help out moisturize your lips but not very much. Let's face it, Baby Lips isn't really like super ther therapeutic like that but if you're just looking for like if your lips are just a little bit quenched and they want some moisture, this is just an amazing product. This one is in Pink Punch. And I'll show you guys the packaging in case you haven't seen it, which I'm sure you all have. But it's a gorgeous, um, gorgeous, gorgeous color. I own a couple of these, but this one is my favorite because it just gives you a little bit of a tint. And again, I don't recommend it if you have super dry lips and you're trying to like mend that. I recommend it if you um, just want like a to-go lip balm to bring with you to school and all that stuff. And speaking of like a to-go lip balm and something that's really cute, I recommend EOS. And if you watch that video that um, I was just talking about, um, I actually mentioned this in that video. And I just love EOS. It's just so hyped up and everyone loves it. But every some people kind of don't like it at the same time. But I don't know what they're talking about because I love it because it's adorable. It's shaped like an egg. It's such a uniquely packaged product. And I think that's one of the reasons why it was just like so hyped up and everything but um the argument about it is that it doesn't really moisturize your lips and I feel like that's kind of true but it does do moisturize your lips but like not in a super amazing kind of way um again I'm a big fan of lip balms that are just kind of a to-go lip balm a lip balm that you can just throw on without thinking about it and it will moisturize your lips but it won't like like give you new soft lips but um I just love this and I think everyone has heard about it and probably everyone has it so definitely go check this out if you haven't already my next product is the Burt's Bees 
um, tinted lip balm. This is what it looks like. I'll zoom it in for you guys. But this one is so amazing. And I actually, this isn't mine. I don't own this one. This is my mom. I gave it, I gave her a couple of these for Christmas. And these are just so amazing. I'll show you guys it if it come off the little tube. So it's just like plain black, I mean plain brown packaging. And this is what the color looks like. It's so dang pretty. It's like a dark, deep berry. And I think everyone has tried a Burt's Bees lip balm before, but um, you just haven't tried the tinted version. And it's just pretty much the same magic of a Burt's Bees, but with just a little bit of fun and color in it. And I, um, I don't know if I told you guys, this is in Red Dahlia. I don't know if you're going to be able to read that at all. But, um, yeah, I love this lip balm, and I recommend it, even though it's a little bit expensive. I believe these are about 7 to $8, but I think it's definitely worth a little bit of a splurge because it's just amazing. So, um, and if you follow, like, Nikki Philippi, um, she was freaking out about these, and that's why I kind of wanted to try them out, and I love them. My last one I'm going to be mentioning is the Gilly Hicks Conditioning Lip Tint. Now, if you've never heard of Gilly Hicks before, I've done a couple of videos, um, like, hauls from them. I'll link my unboxing haul that I did with Gilly Hicks. I'll link it, like, right here. And, um, they are pretty much a Victoria's Secret, but, like, with a vibe of Abercrombie and Hollister. Um, this is like their sister like store or whatever so they sell kind of like sleepwear but they also sell a little bit of beauty and these are one of the beauty things that I picked up from them that I actually really really like and it kind of reminds me of the MAC ones I'm not positive on what they're called but I know there's a really really famous one from the Hello, Ki Hello Kitty collection like years ago so this is what it looks like it says Kill Hicks right there and then I've used it a ton. You guys are going to be able to see, like, it's literally, like, way dipped into. Again, hopefully you guys can see that. Um, this is in the color Dawn, and this is originally $12, but they're usually always on sale for, like, um, either, like, $4.50 or, like, maybe sometimes $2.90. So, um, these are amazing. I really recommend it. It's pretty much, I mean... I wouldn't call this a lip gloss, I would lean it over towards a lip balm but with just a little bit more gloss in it. Um, it just smells like cake frosting, it smells so good and it gives your lips just a little bit of tint and it looks really healthy and pretty and if I wanted something, like if my makeup was kind of like this today where I have a lot more going on on my eyes like I usually because I usually just do like liner and mascara um, if I have a little bit more going on I don't really want to do anything on my lips I'd put this on and it just looks so nice and it would look nice in any sort of skin tone so I hope you guys enjoyed my little rant about these lip balms I hope you guys check them out and let me know in the comments below if I missed one that you absolutely love and that I should try and I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know um, anything down below and also um, don't forget to come back to my channel channel because um, if you guys don't know the thrifty Hannah Ako and I have collaborated before we did a winter fashion 2012 video I will have it linked right here and um, we're actually going to do another collaboration and I'm not going to tell you guys what it is but I can tell you that it's a fashion video and you should check out this channel next Sunday because it will be up or next Friday I don't really remember but anytime next week it should be up. So get excited for that and her videos are amazing. I will link them down below and I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you later. Bye guys!